Dallas season seven. It's Texan season, baby. I need Luna to wish us good luck. Fubbert. Wish me luck, Fubbert. Fubbert. Wish me luck, Fubbert. Fubbert. Wish me luck, Fubbert. Yes, Fubbert. Yes, Fubbert. Yes. This is our team mascot for Wheel of Mud season seven. Fluffy Guffbert. Look at her just committing felonies. Look at Fubbert about to commit a war crime. Look at, look at Fubbert wanted in 72 different countries. Look at Fubbert facing extradition from the Russian government. Look at Fubbert committing crimes on international waters. Who's my little felon? Do you want a treaty, my little felon? All good felons get a treaty. Sit, sit. If you're gonna be the mascot, you gotta be. Dude, chill out. Oh my goodness. The guy acts like she never had a treaty before. All right, all right, all right. All right. Sit. Jake. Ooh, the two banger. The two banger shake. Look at that. Stay. Houston Texans season is off to a very hot start. Joe Flacco is our quarterback. Jameer Gibbs is halfback. We got Jamar Chase and Rob Gronkowski, as well as Trent Williams, who is hopefully getting that team of the year pretty soon. Defensively, we've got the new Ray Lewis. We've got our limited Derwin James. We've got our team captain, Will Anderson. We've got Nick Bosa, Derek Stingley, Devontae Adams Corner, who's going to make his debut today. Evan Witherspoon also making his debut today. Insane start to a Wheel of Hunt season. We're an 87 overall. So if you missed the season open, I spun the team wheel. I got Texans. We'll be rocking Texans offense and Texans defense. The defense so far is really good. Offense, I didn't get to tinker with too much. So we'll learn a little bit more later. So 97 overall, Joe Flacco at quarterback. Last game, I was not using Gunslinger. I need to put it back on. Dude, that windup was not it. Gunslinger speeds up your quarterback's release animation. I have, so, dude, I have so many abilities on it, but I have to run it. So run and gun, Gunslinger, Hot Route Master, Quick Draw, and Set Feet Lead. It's a total of six AP on Joe Flacco. There's only eight AP on offense, so now we've got to go mess with some stuff. I'm going to take tank off of Gronk. We obviously don't really need that. So we'll just rock mid and elite and vanguard, and that puts us right back at eight of eight AP. Okay, we're ready for today's episode. Obviously, the offensive line needs some help. I'm short on wide receivers. No fullback. Defensively, I need some linebackers for sure, and I definitely need a free safety. We got three spins on the season seven wheel to upgrade this team. Our current record is one and O. Oh. So hopefully we can go 2-0 oh. today. It's a Legends Jet. Okay, so Ultimate Legends have officially come out. So this does not include Ultimate Legends. These are just the base Legends. But still, there's tons of great base Legends. I feel like I go offensive line here. I don't want to spend the whole season neglecting my offensive line like I've done in the past. You know what I'm going to do? This is something I have never done this year, but I'm excited to try it out. So you guys know how inside stuff is so good on defensive linemen, right? Well, the way that you counter inside stuff... By the way, this Marquise Pouncey is a Legend. This is just just a series redux card. Uh, I'll actually change his card art so he looks more like a legend. But I'm gonna take Marquise Bouncy. Long story short, who's a 95 overall Pittsburgh Steelers center. Absolute stud. His stats are absolutely insane. He's 6'4", 304. He's gonna be amazing. Inside stuff just blows up so many run plays. The way that you counter it is with Secure Protector. And Secure Protector, he gets discounted for 1 AP. Stronger protection versus quick block shed moves. So we can counter inside stuff and we'll actually be able to run inside zone and have back dives against, you know, really stacked D lines. Unfortunately, why, why does it not give me the legend? Whatever. I guess I'll rock most feared. Series Redux looks like shit. Regardless, we're snagging Marquise Pouncey. I could have gone Bruce Matthews too, but I feel like center makes more sense to stop inside stuff. Plus, he's a 95 overall, so he's an absolute stud still. I just had to take one AP off of somebody, and I think I'm gonna take Human Joystick off of Jameer Gibbs. I've never really used this ability. This ability was absolutely insane in Madden 20, when there were no, like, physics to the game, and you could just change direction without ever losing speed, but that's not the case anymore. So, we got six on Flacco, which is aggressive. We've got one on Gronk, one on Pouncey, and then free abilities on Jamar. I like it. Marquise Pouncey, welcome to the team. All right. I know I actually added to my offensive line instead of just talking about it. It's pretty cool. Marquise Pouncey, our second wheel spin. I miss the days when this was a good spin. I miss those days so much. Is there anything decent available here? So there's Genkai Force, there's Super Bowl. Interestingly, an 86 plus Super Bowl is 7,600 training, but an 84 plus Genkai Force is 8,600. Makes me feel like these have better odds or something. I'm gonna do five of each. We can choose one player to keep on the team. You never know, dude. You never know. I do know. It's always shit. Desmond King, 84 overall. I mean, technically, any wide receiver is an upgrade on this team, so we'll have something to pull from this. 
Three Desmond Kings. Here we go. Fourth pack is, at least it's not Desmond King, Anthony Nelson. I'm doing the Super Bowl ones now. All right, Super Bowl players. Okay, Nelson Aguilar, you are a Houston Texan. You are actually an upgrade on this team because I have Silver, Amon, St. Brown. So I'm not going to complain about Nelson Aguilar. It's a good start. Ryan Hoyer, I can complain about that. I will not be using you on the squad. Third Super Bowl, Ambry Thomas. You're not going to help me. Dude, you want to just like casually give me just a 96 overall? Gonna just casually drop an absolute heater on me. 86 Troy Reader. Huh, I actually could use him too. Do we take Troy Reader or do we take Nelson Aguilar? I feel like I need a third wide receiver. I can't simply not throw to my silver. And then Greg Gaines. Okay, we're taking Nelson Aguilar. The ups and downs of Wheel of Mud. Sometimes you get a Legends jackpot and sometimes you're actually subbing 86 overall Nelson Aguilar into the squad. Nelson Aguilar is six foot with 90 speed. He is a lot, a lot better than Silver Am and Rosane Brown though. So can't beggars can't be choosers, you know? All right, third and final wheel spin. O-line could still definitely use some help. Um, linebackers, free safety. Ooh, we have never gotten this wheel spin. Mystery pack, pack a punch. I get to open one mystery pack and pack a punch one player that I get in the pack. For example, if I pulled 88 core elite Patrick Mahomes, I could pack a punch him to 99 Super Bowl MVP Mahomes and then put him on my team. So first things first, we gotta hope that this mystery pack actually has something good for us. We could get a Pro Max Fantasy, that'd be great. Star Elite's okay. Legends is really good because they're gonna guaranteed have um, pack a punch options. Super Bowl would be good. Playmaker's bad. And then Gold Plus is horrible. Pro Max Fantasy is the meta here. Pro Max Fantasy is the meta. Oh, still very good. Still very, very good. Oh, we're going to get two legends on the squad today. Potentially. Wait a minute. Depending on who we get here. TJ Spears, I don't think he has a pack-a-punch option. This legends player, Rod. What does Rod Smith have? I don't remember what Rod's, what his, the overall of his card is. Rod Smith's got a 94 with 95 speed. That's an amazing option. Rod Smith, option one. Oh my God. Sean Taylor has a, Sean Taylor has an ultimate legend free safety. Oh my God. Holy shit. Michael Vick also has so many insane cards. Yo, I thought we were gonna do... Oh my god, I thought for sure we were gonna go Rod Smith. Sean Taylor has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in this game. Oh my god, our first ultimate legend is gonna be Sean Taylor. That is so hype. So, we pulled 86 Sean Taylor. We can pack a punch him to the best version, which of course is the 96 overall ultimate legend Sean Taylor. I assume he gets insane discounted abilities. Let's find out. I think best case scenario would be like Pick Artist. Maybe Crusher. They've got him as a zone Zone safety, 95 speed, 78 man. Okay, it could be worse. 96 zone, 96 hit power, 96 acceleration, 62220. I do want to put universal coverage on him. He's got six ability slots. He's got deep zone KO. I feel like we kind of have to go with that. Pick artist and enforcer. Oh, he gets both. So I could go pick artist for free. And then I, you just got to go deep zone KO. Sean Taylor, you are kidding me, man. Let's go. All right, well, Cam Chancellor then is getting moved to my backup strong safety. Uh, once again, we actually added Cam Chancellor just to have the chance to pack a punch him in the future. So that option's still on the table, but for right now, we don't have to worry. Dude, my secondary is actually crazy. All right, we'll summon Cam Chancellor to my backup strong safety. Look at this defense. This defense is actually insane. Dude, come, come playoffs if we make them, which I plan on making them. We are gonna have the nastiest defense I've ever seen. 89 overall. It feels so good. I feel like we can compete every single game, no matter who we go up against right now. And that makes me so happy. All right, boys, we got the challenge wheel. We are 1-0. Let's get ready for this second game here. The second game of season seven's challenge is shoot. Okay, so I had this as a challenge when I had Niners playbook. I don't think the Texans have anything like this. I'm gonna have to spin again. Yeah, it'd be cool if like you could just sub wide receivers in anywhere always, but the game doesn't let you do that, unfortunately. Ooh, I would love octopus. Damn. If you're wondering what Octopus is, I'll tell you when I get it. Four passing touchdowns. Damn, Joe Flacco. Hey, I gave him Gunslinger, right? I gave him Gunslinger. Four passing touchdowns for Joe Flacco. You know, it's like... It's not super rare for me to get four touchdowns because that's 28 points, but it's definitely rare for me to get four passing. Ray Lewis, DK Metcalf, Jerry Rice. We got Flacco, Ray, and Shadow Devontae. That's this, one of the sickest top threes I've ever had. I really like that top three. Ooh, we got the Crimson Unis on. We're at home. I like it. It's got CJ Stroud back there. While taking on the Texans, throws a nice one. Ooh, good, good tackle. Yeesh, big heave. Damn, and he caught it. Nice play. Pete Werner. That's a handoff. Oh, it's not. It's a play action. I'm an idiot. Oh, oh, Stingley. Buddy, just pick it. Was that Stingley? Who was that? Who just did that? Is that Devontae Adams? Devontae, I know it's not your usual position, brother. Okay, he goes for an interesting move, but it sets him up for a big hit. Third and four. I'm going to use her Devontae, and I'm going to make a play now. Oh, no. He's got 85. 
Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. I just got hit with a tight end wheel route. Holy shit. As I use her Devante and leave that zone open. Oh my God. All right. Well, here's the only thing I'll say on the bright side. The quicker he scores, the quicker I get the ball, the quicker I can put up four passing touchdowns. So whatever. I know that that was my fault, guys, but I'm gonna be honest. I don't think in my entire year playing this game that I've ever got hit with a tight end wheel route before. So honestly, just shout out to my opponent for the creative play calling. Shout out Nelson Aguilar for running 80 yards to get to the 17 yard line. Now it's time to find some plays in this playbook that we really like. Tight way off. Oh, PA go slot cross. Good blocks, Pouncy, and great blocks. Everybody else, Jameer. Jameer. No, I juked right into him. Now we can go play action out of the same formation. Ugh. All right, second and 13. Just looking for a simple combo here. Yep. Jameer Gibbs, love that. Yeah, they're all going for the punch out. Third and five. I'm going to run it. Our last run play was so effective. Let's go inside zone again and see if we can pick this up. Third and five. Come on. Oh, got to get past the user. What a good play. Fourth and four. I think Jamar Chase is there, but does he have enough? Like, is that a deep enough hitch? Oh, he might not be there. Nelson Aguilar! Oh, my God! Nelson Aguilar! I'm sorry for everything I said. Dude, the separation on that was actually insane. Look at the separation out of the 86 overall. Okay, tell me why that was the slowest I've ever seen an offensive lineman move. Did you see my offensive lineman going to make that block on Ray Lewis? I think he got scared. I think he saw Ray Lewis. He got scared. Okay, this is a very simple read. Wherever his user is, I throw the other slant. Boom. Simple read. Jamar. That was such a tough catch. Great job, Jamar. All right, now I'm going to go whip route. Since I think he's in just in the same formation, trying to guard the same thing. Whip route, Jamar Chase, absolute money, but he's on it, but he doesn't have enough. Oh, he could have made that tackle for sure. Also, Jamar Chase actually looks so clean in the Crimson Houston Texans series. Can we talk about that? Do they have RPOs? I guess zone alert bubble is an okay RPO. I'm gonna go for two. Feel like I could throw Aguilar here. I also feel like I can just go up the middle with this. I'm going up the middle. Jameer Gibbs! All right, eight to seven. That was a risky, a risky go for two, but it's a big one. We've got a passing touchdown, so we're quarter of the way to our challenge wheel, and now we just need to play some good defense. He's gonna check low and juke. Oh my God, I'm so good. This is weird. What are you running here? Let's blitz, let's blitz, let's blitz. Go, Jalen Carter. Get home, Stingley! Derek Stingley to his own quarterback. CJ Stroud goes down, and we are in a really good position right now. I'm gonna guess pass. We just gotta hop on Ray Lewis. Oh, we have Derwin activated. We have Devontae activated. Shit, I'm on Hankins. This is... Oh, my God. It's so no, it's not. Sean T! Sean Taylor! Let's go. Let's go. But don't house it all the way. Perfect. First and 10 from the 16. Joe Flacco's just got to punch me in. He needed to throw that ball a lot sooner. And I got caught lacking on a D-lineman, bro. All right, PA slot under. Gronk on the post. Oh, he's caught lacking. He's caught lacking. Tell me why Nelson Aguilar is my best receiver. Jameer. Jameer, 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 Jameer. Knocked out. Dude, I'm not going to lie. Jameer actually has pretty good catching stats. And I've seen him get a few knocked out without um, zone chaos. I'm a little shocked. Third and four. I'm going to try something weird here. Unorthodox play calling. We're going for the passing touchdown off of a halfback slip screen. He's there. Great ball. Fourth and two. Let's pick this up with the RPO. Oh, my God. It's Nelson Aguilar. Of course it's Nelson Aguilar. Of course it's Nelson Aguilar. No, not that animation. Get! For the first time, I finally got burnt by that stupid animation. That fucking hop step circus swirl. Honestly, they probably put that animation in to, to nerf RPOs because RPOs are so good. And now I'm sad. And I should have had that too, but Sean Taylor, deep zone KO, knocks that ball out. Second and 10. He. Oh, that fucking got me. But Derwin's knockout. Oh, I'm cheesing. I'm cheesing with zone knockouts. He got my ass with that too. Okay, let's blitz. Let's blitz. Let's blitz. Now he doesn't expect the blitz. Get home. <gasps> I'm gonna come in my pants. Oh my God, Ray Lewis just jumped. Oh my God. He did a fucking fairy jump. Watch his feet. He did a fucking flutter. Oh my God. Yeah, we gotta see that again, dude. This was disgusting. That's just like complete inhuman. <laughs> I'm gonna be watching a real life football game and they're gonna throw it over a linebacker's head and I'm gonna go, why didn't he just jump up and grab it? I literally do that Madden all the time. First and 10, we gotta figure this out. Does he have the whip bagged? He kind of does. He didn't have Gronk there. I'm going no huddle. I'm going no huddle and I'm throwing a spicy hot fucking laser beam to Gronk. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. You gotta rack it. You gotta get in though. Dude, don't tell me I get stood up in this position again. What's annoying is that RPO should be open. Jameer Jamar, Jameer Jamar, Jameer Jamar. Make the read, Matt. Jameer. A 
another knockout on Jameer? Fourth and two, dude. Are you serious? I'm gonna try for this challenge so hard that I'm about to lose the damn game. I'm putting Gronk on a slant or a drag. Gronk, 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 Gronk! Oh my God, another knockout! I get, you know what, what am I mad for? He not, I knocked out all his passes too. Oh my God, I can't fucking score. Dude, this is crazy. I've never been so inefficient on the goal line. Oh my God, Derwin, no, that should be an avalanche. Dude, get off your block. Please get off your block. Damn, nice run. I dare you. I actually fucking dare you to throw this shit. I just got the same Wraith of animation. Dude, hopefully with more field. I'm playing spectacular defense, by the way, but my red zone efficiency is fucking atrocious. With more field, maybe I can throw something so deep that I don't need the whole thing. Oh, here we go. DPI! Shit. Or whatever. Illegal contact. I needed to throw that ball. First and 10. This is zone coverage. Nelson Aguilar's open after one step. Maybe not. That's man. We'll go Gronk. Nice tackle. I'm going to preserve the two-minute warning. I need two touchdowns in the first half. Two passing touchdowns in the first half so that I can lead myself to two more. Oh, Jamar's going to have him. Got to go, Jamar. No! Dude, Joe Flacco, I hit your fucking windup. Oh, my God. That was a touchdown. Gronk's... Oh, maybe he's not. Yeah, he is. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try this RPO again, and I just wanna see, like, can I get this ball into Aguilar? Is it possible? Like, leading him. No, it's gonna do that animation every time. That little pirouette is getting me in a lot of trouble. Although that looked a lot better on that side. I'm going Gronk, I just gotta give him a chance. Let's go! No knockouts today! Gronk's gonna hang on! Let's go, Gronk! Finally, somebody hangs on in the end zone. Let's go! I'm going for two, and I'm gonna go back to that RPO. I'm gonna give Aguilar a chance. Let's see if he pirouettes. Hey, okay, so right there, it was perfect. No pirouette, caught it in stride. Now we've got a nine-point lead, and I feel really good. Ray? Ray? Oh my god, I just got bodied. Zone KO. Oh, shit. I went for the interception. I should have just gone for the swat. I literally audibly said zone KO to then go and hold wide as stupid. First and 10. That whip route's open. No, you did not. If Sean Taylor wasn't there, he was going to catch that on Derwin. That was a hell of a ball. That was like, that was risky. Goes for the check down. He completes it, but now it's third and 10. Go, Bosa. Go, Anderson! No, you're not gonna do this. No, you're not! Mmm! Witherspoon. Just gonna go cover one spy, and that way I'm free to just kind of roam with Ray Lewis. Let me guess pass here. Dig? Dig? You did not! I knew the dig was there, and I should have lurked it. I almost... I don't know why I second-guessed myself on that route. No wheel routes. No wheel routes. No wheel routes. That's a good ball. He's gonna juke. Oh no. 22 seconds left. I still have two timeouts though. Even if he scores, I'm not ruling out the fact that I could score again. Let's keep him from scoring. Corner out, corner out. No. Goes under. Slammed. I'm calling a timeout. I want there to be clock. Nothing's open. Nothing's open. Hmm. Big stand here. This is a big stand. No, that's open and I'm Dude, there's no way he meant to do that, but I was stuck on Christian McCaffrey. Like, he set a screen on me. Hey, I'm really glad we got our two-point conversions. That's huge. Two-point conversion right here. He's got two checkdowns. I'm on that, though. Wow. Six seconds, and I got a timeout. I don't really think I can... Is that possible? Can I get in field goal range like this? I don't think this is possible in six seconds. Okay, two passing touchdowns. We can turn it into three on this drive. And if we get the two-point conversion, we go back to a nine-point lead. So another two-possession lead. Gosh, this game is like... If I wasn't worrying about the challenge, it really wouldn't be a game. We've had some really good runs today. Let's go, Jameer Gibbs. Great blocks right there. Whoa. You gotta hang on to that block. Oh, it's a silver. It's a silver guard. It's a silver guard. Not gonna talk shit about my silver guard. But I had a chance to go really deep there. Ooh. Look at these runs, man. Five yards a pop. Now we just go to a pass. Because he expects the run again this time. There's Jamar. Beautiful window. 14 for 20, 140, and two touchdowns out of Flacco. I'm going to go back to the run now. He doesn't have a backer for this. I repeat, he does not have a backer for this. Jameer Gibbs! This is an... In Dude, I am no huddle dominating him right now. I got to stay on it. I can't mess with this. Back to the pass. Gronk whip route. Absolutely uncovered. Get inside, juke right. Oh! He's up, baby! First and 10. Back to the inside zone. He probably knows this time, but... Yeah, he does. Money. Absolute money. Get down. Juke left. 
get out. Come on! My stiff arm, Jamar! <laughs> Second and inches. Let's flip sides. Do I have an RPO out of this? Gronk. Gronk. Post! Got him! Gronk is my guy right now, and AJ Terrell is getting bullied. I'm gonna try that same RPO that I used before. Zone alert Omaha to the right side. If I can get Nelson Aguilar to be moving forward when he catches this, it's money. Moving forward. Derp, 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 derp. Pirouette! So I think I just don't have any control because I'm leading the ball in front of him. I don't have any control over the pirouette or not. And so far today, it's been three out of four is that pirouette animation. Just do it again. Probably checks down to McCaffrey. Yeah. Boom! Enforcer Supreme, Ray Lewis. Oh, let's go! How on God's green earth did you just throw that ball? With the accuracy. Goes McCaffrey again. Bringing out the blitz here, I'm guessing pass. I've just got to go cover Jamal. Devontae! What? Oh my god! Oh my god, off the tip! George Kittle tipped in, he's still... Oh my god, I've never seen that. Watch this, watch this, watch this. I've never seen this. George Kittle tips it, and I still... Hey, it is Devontae Adams, right? Oh, wow. I was just about to feed Gronk there. Quinn Williams gets home, second and 13. This game's not over. This game's not over at all. I still need to get back in scoring range and score. This is probably not the time to try and learn this. Dude, Jameer, who the fuck are you blocking? This is not the time to learn this, but I want to try and, and freeform this to Aguilar. All right, that's a freeform. Still pirouetting. All right, yeah, you simply don't have control over that. Oh, Flacco, you got to make this throw, buddy. Stop and pop, Flacco. Stop and pop, Flacco. Throw, Jamar! Oh my fucking God! I'm him! Joe Flacco! You just witnessed greatness. Holy shit. I cannot believe I just did that. Straight up. There's Jameer. Better drop back and deliver that. I'm him. I'm him. I gotta make a big decision here, though, because I still want to play really smart, and I need to move some clock off. So let's let this go to the fourth quarter. I'm in field goal range, so I could put this game in a position where I pretty much win with a field goal, but I need the passing touchdown for the challenge wheel. So let's, let's just play this really smart. If something is so obviously open, we can throw it. All right, I'm gonna run this RPO, but I'm actually gonna hand it off. Is Jamar Chase throwable? He is. It's risky. No! He's not throwable! I don't know why I thought that was throwable. Oh, my God. See what I mean? I could have played safe for my field goal. Like, I had that option. Damn, Ray Lewis, dude. Blitz time. I'm on, I'm on McCaffrey. Throw it. Oh, he threw that to McCaffrey. Tell me he did. Third and 16! Isaiah McDuffie gets home. He's in empty chip quads. I'm gonna let the right side just be open. Boom! No. Oh, so I thought that was Ray Lewis. I thought that was Ray Lewis. I was like, how'd you break that? Same thing. Same thing here. Fourth and 10. I see the corner out. And this... He's got nothing. Break it up, Devontae! No, I didn't just get fucking mossed! He has shut down activated! Oh my god. I actually just got mossed. That's so fucking crazy. Ball don't lie. Ball don't lie right here. Oh, Nick Bosa, second and ten. Huge play by him. Slip screen. Get through it, Ray. Nice juke. Huge hit out of Derwin. I want the fumble. How many Enforcer Supreme hits you gotta take? Oh my god, I was right. Let's go! What a fucking guess. All right, so now he passes, right? Now he passes, gun tray open. Let's go dollar three, two, cover three seam. Had both of these, okay. Insane that he caught that, but it's fourth and three. Holy shit, this is for the game. Bagged. Bagged! Ah! Let's go! 32 seconds, three timeouts. Do I go for the challenge wheel? He knows I'm going inside zone, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Take it to the one. Why the fuck? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Tell me how I lost all of my speed in an instant. How they all caught up to me and I instantly fumbled. What did I, did I just witness? What did I just witness? I just witnessed like cheating live. And not, not him cheating, but some EA cheating. What? Dude, I lost all of my momentum somehow. That is, dude, what? Dude, it felt like in a split second, they just grabbed me. Dude, that was so weird. I need to see that again. What happened? It is so open. 
he missed. I could have scored right there. I got to throw it to Y if he's there. He is. He missed. Touchdown. Fourth passing touchdown. Nelson Aguilar is actually a goat. He's actually a god. I'm going to hand this off. Great blocking. Did I get in? I didn't get in. Jameer Gibbs, 18 rushes, 117 yards. 13 seconds left in the ball game. Oh my God, I just got a fumble. I'm about to get another touchdown, maybe. Nope, he got the ball on that. Oh my God, what is happening? That was an insane game of Wheel of Mutt, but we got our dub and you cannot tell me that I did not fight for my challenge wheel. I won the challenge wheel and I, I don't think I've ever fought so hard for it. I, I jeopardized the entire game going for that. 247 yards, four touchdowns and an interception. For Joe Flacco. CJ Stroud, two touchdowns, four interceptions. Jimmy are eight for 117. He did fumble. Two broken tackles. Receiving Gronk, seven for 92 and two. He was he was clutch. Aguilar. Dude, Aguilar, you're gonna get sucked off, man. You actually balled out. You really did. Seven for 16 a tutty. Jamar Chase, four for 42 in a tutty. I mean, in fairness, like, Nelson Aguilar was just in a position to make plays more. Like, he, on all of those RPOs, he was the guy the ball got thrown to. But honestly, that probably makes sense. Like, Jamar is definitely a better blocker than Nelson Aguilar is. So, shit. It worked. We moved to 2-0, and oh, and of course, I do get any pack of my choice from the store since we caught that W. I think I honestly want to go with Ultimate Legends because if I ever get a pack a punch, every Ultimate Legends player has an insane 96 overall, right? Best case scenario, uh, is there offensive lineman? I don't remember who's in this promo. So Camardi, like Camardi himself, this doesn't help my team, but if I got a pack a punch, that would be really good. Ultimate Legends pack, Scott Steve Smith. He's awesome. He's going to be a huge addition to this team. And then there's 87 seasons, so we obviously take 90 Steve Smith, and this last card's usually dog shit but okay it is it is dog shit so antonio Cromartie will just sit on the bench uh he'll be a backup and then steve smith will actually be a starter i can't put in steve smith for aguilar though aguilar was too good i gotta keep aguilar on the squad i'm gonna make my new wide receiver to be 90 overall steve smith he's actually slower just has 90 in every other stat i'm gonna go steve smith here and then where brandon johnson is i'm putting aguilar until i get like a crazy upgrade i want to keep aguilar because he earned it and i'll put brandon johnson uh in my backup all right boys wheel of mutt season seven episode two big w Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one as always. Peace out, gentlemen.